Good morning guys what's up welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new it's 7 30 a.m and i'm about to head to the gym and it's monday morning and today is also super exciting because at 12 30 i have my second tattoo removal appointment so i'm just pumped for today because i've already seen so much progress and i haven't even shown it to you guys so i'll get into that later and i'll tell you guys about you know how it's been healing and like the next steps and everything um but yeah, here's my little gym fit. I'm just wearing my Adidas NMDR1s in white. And these are like the kids ones, so they're like all white. And then I have on my Lululemon Align leggings, just the plain black ones. And then this is the Gymshark Pipa training pullover in white. And it has like a little pocket in the front, super cute. And then this is my Lululemon Festival bag, which I put my camera in. I don't think I'm gonna end up recording today just because I haven't been going to the gym early enough to record. It's like too busy at the time I go now because of the time change. I was going to the gym around like 6.30 and I had no problem all recording there all day because there's only a few people in there. But now when I go, it's like a lot busier. <laughs> and so I just like don't feel comfortable setting my camera up without feeling like it's gonna be in someone's way. So that's where I'm coming from. Just filled up my BCAAs. I'm gonna take a banana with me. This is usually like my go-to before I go to the gym in the morning, just a banana. Okay guys, I just finished at the gym, so I'm about to head home, just kind of catching my breath. Today was upper body, well actually, <laughs> I lie. Today was actually leg day, but I switched my days around because I didn't wanna do legs today knowing that I'm getting my tattoo removal done and my arms swelled up so bad the first time that I couldn't work out for like several days. So I thought, let me be smart this time. I'll do my arms today and then I can probably work out tomorrow or definitely Wednesday with my arm situation and just do legs. You live and you learn and so i just feel like that would be a smarter idea that way i can miss less workouts this week i'm back home now from the gym obviously and i had some oatmeal for breakfast i took a shower and now i am letting this oatmeal face mask sit on my face this is the one from first aid beauty that i absolutely love it's a 10 minute face mask and it always makes my skin feel really good and i did not put my um like face wrap thing on to protect my hair from this we're just taking our chances. So it is almost 11 now, and my appointment is at 12.30 to have my second tattoo removal session. And they gave me this numbing cream last time. I told you guys, when I went in there the first time, obviously I'd never been in there before, so they couldn't give me this. So they had to do lidocaine injections into my arm. This time I have a cream to apply, and evidently this works better. So I'm really excited to use this over that because I'm hoping that it's gonna hurt less but I will show you guys what my tattoo actually looks like now. If you don't know or you're new to my channel, the red is a birthmark um, and that will still be there. It's not gonna mess with my birthmark because the laser only targets dark pigmentation. Um, so yeah, I have a birthmark that like starts in my hand and goes all the way up to like here and it turns purple when I'm cold. <laughs> um, but here's what my tattoo looks like right now. It doesn't look like that much of a change for you guys. It honestly just looks like a poorly done tattoo. But I'm gonna show you what it looked like when I first got it done just for your own reference because you will be shocked. All of the shading is gone now. So here's what it looked like at first. You can see like how shaded in it was quite a bit darker here's what it looks like now so the outline is still very prevalent but like all of the shading is nearly gone so i am like super excited to see what it looks like after this next time around but i'm gonna put this numbing cream on oh wow this is very thick i'm assuming this is like topical lidocaine i don't even know how much i'm supposed to put but i'm gonna put a lot i'd rather have too much numbing cream than not enough but the healing process was Basically like the first several days, my arm swelled up a lot and it burned really, really bad. Like my arm would just like burn like crazy. Um, felt like someone was holding a hot curling iron on it. That's how I could describe it. But ice really helps a lot. And then basically it, um, after like that phase of the ice, it started to get scabby and very itchy and you're not supposed to pick at the scabs but it would be so itchy. So it'd be like really hard not to. I'd be like scratching around it, trying to avoid picking at it. Um, and then that was like the following couple of weeks. And then this past week, it's been pretty much completely healed. And so it just looks like this and doesn't hurt at all anymore. Um, but you know, we're about to start the process again. Can't believe how fast that four weeks went by. It's crazy, but I'm so excited. So now she told me to put like saran wrap on it. Got some Glad cling wrap. Hopefully my arm starts getting really numb.
putting some soft curls in my hair and now I'm gonna pack orders basically for like the next 30 minutes and then I'm gonna head out because I want to stop and grab a coffee before my appointment and we're gonna go and get my arm zapped <music> Just dropped off all the packages and it's 12 17 i'm in the starbucks drive through about to grab my coffee and i actually decided to switch it up today i know i've been like obsessed with the brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso drink but i feel like i have drank it so much that i'm almost ruining it for myself like i haven't quite ruined it for myself but if i keep going i'm definitely gonna ruin it for myself so I'm gonna get something different today. I actually went on the Macro Baristas Instagram page, everyone knows of this guy, and he posts really cool drinks and just like concoctions and you can make your drinks healthier. He has this ice white mocha recipe, which is just an iced coffee with one pump of white mocha, a splash of cream, and three sugar-free vanilla, but I don't like sugar-free vanilla. So I'm gonna modify it a little bit. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. My name is Alyssa, we'll take it started for you today. Hello, can I just get a grande iced coffee? unsweetened with one pump of white mocha and one pump of vanilla and light cream. Light cream. You got it. What else can I get for you? That's all. All right. It's going to be 411 at the window. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. I'm putting my mask on, by the way. You guys told me I should do it. Even though they don't require it, I totally get the reasoning behind it. So I'm going to put my mask on really quick. Put my, my window up. So I'll let you guys know how this is because I've not tried this one before but i just don't like the taste of sugar-free syrup so i just modified it instead of three pumps of sugar-free i'm doing one pump with sugar so it'll be less sweet but i think three pumps of sugar-free ends up being the same as one pump of regular sugar i think or it might even be less okay i got my coffee here's what it looks like i'm so excited to drink it but i'm gonna wait because once i start drinking this i'm gonna want to keep going and i'm about to go in for my appointment i just parked i'm in here now just waiting for them to come and get me and you guys I'm actually kind of nervous because this was like sliding up and I think that the numbing gel didn't really get on the top half so hopefully it doesn't hurt like crazy I'm back here now about to get my second session I'm so excited she just wiped away everything so you guys can see what it looks like so far just a much better lighting in here now than when I was at home so she's about to inject me with lidocaine because I showed you guys it was like kind of sliding down and I'm a little worried it's gonna hurt so she's just gonna do some lidocaine injections anyway that way it definitely doesn't hurt <laughs> Yeah, I feel it. I feel like everything, honestly. That's definitely not as painful though, as it was like Last the first time. time I came in, yeah. yeah. Like a subtle pinch, whereas before it was like super painful. So I guess the numbing cream worked a little bit. This is what it looks like after. We just did the whole thing. Hurt like crazy, but this is what it looks like. Honestly, there's not as much little white bubbles as the first time. There's not, no. I wonder why. Uh, that's the nice part. <laughs> just got finished. I'm back in my car about to drive home. It's covered up right now. I'm just waiting for the super bad burning to start. Like, it's stinging a little now, but I remember before it took, like, maybe... 20 or 30 minutes and then it was like on fire so i know it's coming soon so i'm just gonna go home and get ready to start icing it that's why i went to the gym first thing this morning because i knew that i would not be going afterwards but i did get more stuff we got more triple antibiotic ointment and then i got another um one of these tissue repairs because this stuff is amazing i actually used it when i burned my forehead um like a few weeks ago and you can barely see it now so I think it really helped because I had like a bad burn right here I was covering it with makeup so I don't even think you guys ever saw it but it was bad and now it's like gone because I put this stuff on it why do I have like the worst look in the world I just took a sip of this that's not white mocha it's regular mocha and it doesn't taste terrible but I really wanted white mocha and I'm not going back to Starbucks so I'm just gonna drink it 
says white mocha on here, so they must have just made a mistake. I knew it was coming. It's like burning it so bad. It feels like someone just dipped my hand or my arm in acid, actually. Like, that's how I describe it. So I just have this ice pack sitting on it. But when I went to Tampa a few weeks ago after my first session, my sister had this really nice ice pack that was like, I don't know, it was like a soft ice pack with like soft ice in it. It was actually meant for like your body to ice you know, like your arm or something versus this is like a lunch pack. So Chad and I are gonna go buy one. And then we also have to buy the Benadryl and some more four by fours and wrap to wrap it. Um, Cause I forgot to ask them for some more. So I'm just gonna buy some. We just got Chick-fil-A for lunch. Of course that will spike up my mood and lemonade. This is amazing. Did you try it yet? Yeah. Chad got the spicy chicken grilled sandwich, the newest one, which is amazing. I've already tried it, but I just got the cool wrap and then Chad got a large fry so that I can have some of his fries. 